Take it down here. If you don't, then you can just fuck off. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Granted. It is you. 
Welcome to the underground. I owe you an apology for hacking your info link. Don't sweat it. I'm assuming you had a good reason. Sami's dad's usual channels are all bugged. I couldn't risk an audio communication being traced back here. You're little K, right? You don't sound local. I wrote some things that made me have to delocalize a long time ago. Been living story to story on a Schengen visa and a language implant ever since. Never expect a short story from a long-form journalist. You want to know why I brought you here. The police raided Samstadt last night, cleared us out. We were broadcasting until they pulled the plug. Radios, flyers, mail bursts, the, the makeshift media van. Getting the message out to our subscribers if they needed a refuge. As you can see, it went a little wider than we anticipated. So are you running a resistance cell here or a campaign room? Why not both? Now Sammy's dad has a captive voter base we could run for the Senate. It's organized resistance then? Peaceful resistance. We're working together to get people under the cordon and out of Prague. It's a happy accident of a police state. Well, I say happy when everyone's repressed, they can see past their prejudices. Or they shift the blame. It's gonna take a long time for those prejudices to heal. As long as certain people can profit from keeping the wounds fresh. But you knew that already. What happened to Kay? Kay is me now, according to the Samizdat Manifesto. It's all very third wave socialist with a dash of martyr complex. Good to know. But I mean, what physically happened to him? Right. His name is Yarek. Yarek Drobny. He's being held by the police along with Bones. No contact, no bail, no rights, plausible deniability. He must have known the risks. Well, he was open to the existence of risks. When you showed up, it should have been a wake-up call, but you were reasonable. The state isn't reasonable. This isn't what I call laying low. Aren't you afraid the police will find you again, finish what they started? They already got the cake. Bones, the backup servers, even the shitty coffee machine. Enough for them to call it a win and get back to indiscriminate brutality on the streets. Where were you when this happened? Right here. Running our little home away from home. Our sources tipped us off about the martial law. Either V could write about it and throw our hands up. Boy, I sure hope this massive rights violation doesn't end up being too awful this time. Or we could enact a readiness plan and really do something. I'm pretty sure you didn't call me to put up posters. What's the deal? We've made a plan. We're getting people out of the city starting first thing tomorrow. I want Yarek and Bones to go with them, but... First, we need to bust them out of jail. Tonight. And you think I'm the kind of guy who breaks into police stations? Are you telling me you're not? Fine, I'll get them out. They're being held in the temporary police station downtown? Yes. By the Monument Metro. Once you're clear, Takes them across the plaza to the United Cleaners. We've cached everything they need for a long road trip along the old NATO decommissioning zone. That's your escape route? Puts getting them past the state police into perspective. It works on paper. Ah, uh, and uh, gives them these new identity documents, a lot of new identities. We found a very good forger. We're keeping her from a bright future in a Pika's newsroom. Is you again? Too many people. They'll have to borrow more stuff. Can we get back?
don't think that what we're doing here is right, is that it? On a personal level, yes, this bothers me very much. Jesus, I'm not even talking about what our social responsibility is here. We were a to protect people. We're just following orders. That doesn't mean it's right. Documentaries? The journalists aren't the revolution. From state police to, to police us or interrogate us. The journalists aren't the revolution, man. We're just augmenting the message. And the message, it's still out there. It's on the streets. It's over the airwaves. It's spreading online. Maybe it's even got into those faceless skull buckets of you, huh? Maybe you're thinking of your own team. Well, that's a good start, man. The first time you see that your things are being pulled by crooked politicians and big fortunes. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Granted. The press wants to be free! You! I knew it, man! I knew you were one of them all along! Do I look like I'm one of them? I can feel my hands right now, but if I could run a search for shadowy extra-government agent on the net, pretty sure it's all you. Fair point. What happened? You pulled a freedom of information speech on the state police? Ha fucking ha. They didn't wait for a speech, man. Lesson learned. Smash the state before the state smashes your nose. Little Kay asked me to get you out. She's the Kay now, man. I'm a liability to Sammy's dad. She cares about you, Yarrick. She didn't want to leave you or Bones behind. Always was a cool cat, man. One of the good ones. 
She wrote the wheels come off 16 years ago and the conspiracies just keep checking out. Everything except the gray aliens, but who's to say that's not a metaphor? If she wrote the book... Ah, uh, 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 I don't believe in authorial intent. I might have known you wouldn't keep your heads down during the riots. This is what a radical news source lives for, man. Lives and dies for. But the helmets on the streets, the extreme peacekeeping, that's not about the Gollum riots. How are the Ogs gonna get over here? Carpool? No. Someone, somewhere, wanted the cops to clean house in Prague. And this is just the beginning. What if they could call martial law anywhere, anytime? Cops without borders. That's your prediction, huh? You can take it to the bank, man. The Palisade Property Bank. You told me you were a liability to Sam's debt. How do you figure that? Because the cops burn me, man. Exposure is death. They didn't have to ask a single question. Just took my DNA off their knuckles. My high school dropout date, my sister's parking tickets, my dark night proxies. Oral cemetery. Oral cemetery? They didn't get a lot of mainstream airplane. Anyway, a little case shouldn't have sent you. Sammy's death has to be bigger than any man or woman. Samizdat is bigger than you now, Yarrick. The Resistance reached further than you planned for. You want to fall on your sword? There's a better place to do it than in a holding cell. Whoa, whoa! You know I use the term liability real broadly. I warned you about picking a fight with Pikus. They've got a lot invested in protecting the message. Would I be talking to you now if Pikus had got to us? I mean, does Eliza Kassan have a sense of humor? All those bombs going off lately. What's one more in the sewers? A BTW? Those are all rhetorical questions. You don't say. But they're trying, man. Bones heard the cops talking about extraordinary rendition. What a wonderful connected world we live in. When they can pin an acronym on you, ARC, NSF, who gives a right sass? And ship you off to a black site on the UN's credits. Just how many states are you an enemy of? All the corporate ones. There's a way out of Prague for you both. The Samizdat Resistance has organized everything. We just need to keep our heads down and get to the cleaners nearby. The cleaners? Huh. Irony. Wait, you mean going through the cops? There's a police locker in the corner that should be stocked with uniforms. Find something that fits and try to look convincing. We need the cops to think you're one of them. Good. It's time to go. That story to page two. You got that piece done yet? Yes, exit plans, man, exit plans. Always be making them. We worked this contingency plan out when we started Sammy's dead. Didn't think it would actually come to this, though. No one thought it would be like this. You're gonna need these documents where you're going, wherever that is. I hear Paris is the best place to have a revolutionary agenda these days. If you want to come along, you can be the muscle. 
Well, whatever your arms are made of, the stuff they use on space shuttles. No can do. I've got a previous engagement. I really can't miss. Right. With the cardboard box company. Watch yourself out there, Kay. Kay? Kay is Kazdi, man. Kay is everyone. You're part of it now. Time for Sam's dad to go international. Do you think it is safe here? I don't think it's safe anywhere. But I think you can breathe here at least. There's a group organizing underground. They're doing everything they can to create a refuge, to get people out. I thought you were against groups like this. The way you treated Vlasta before... Vlasta was different. I trust these people. They actually care what happens to others. These men, they are part of this group? That's right. You were right before to do whatever it takes to try to get out of this city. This is your chance now. If you wait here, Kay's people will come for you. They'll do everything they can to help. I believe you. Thank you. I appreciate what you've done. Good luck, Olive. Hey, you! We got multi tools for sale inside. Over here! Welcome, welcome! Nice gear you've got here. All high end. And you look like you know high end. Which biotech did your job? Not Isole. They don't come in black. You try this on all your customers? Just the ones made of carbon fiber. As one enthusiast to another, you can tell me. Gonna have to disappoint you. Maybe you can make it up to me. You look like the kind of man who might have access to breach software. That stuff's illegal. Come on, man, don't play around. You know why it's illegal. You know the world governments don't want us to find out their dirty secrets. But we will, and you can help us. Be part of the revolution. Anyway, just think about it. All the details are in the computer. Want to have a look? To sell, or to buy? Sure. Great, go ahead. This is fantastic. The cause is very, very grateful. Take this. A gift for a true freedom fighter. It's not just a display. Nothing for me. Don't. You think the fight ran through the.
Make any sense for the Diwali to be working with Ark? They're not terrorists. Delara, what are you doing here? Is that going to become our standard conversation starter? I'm serious, Delara. It's dangerous outside. Non-essential staff should be home. How did you even get? Ouch! Non-essential. I just meant. Work with me, Adam. I was trying for a little levity. Truth is. Watching Pikus news, hearing that the mobs were getting closer to the city, I was reminded of... Let's just say I thought being three stories below ground was better than staying in my apartment. So, I called in a favor and got state police to escort me in. Listen, I can tell something big is happening, so I don't want to keep you. You doing okay, Delara? Look, Adam... I didn't tell you why I left Lim International. That I was in session with a patient when the incident hit, and that I was... You were attacked. Her name was Madeline. She was 13. A really sweet kid. One minute we were talking, laughing actually, about something silly I'd said, and the next she was... She... It was a terrible day for everyone. After I fought her off, she... She just stared at me like she was totally aware, you know, but not in control. God, Adam, I could see in her eyes that some part of her was still in there, locked away. And she was terrified. Delara, I'm sure the girl... Madeline. Her name was Madeline. You know the part that I'll never forget, though? The thing that keeps just replaying in my mind over and over? Right before she jumped out of my office window, I could swear she was crying. Believe me, Delara, I know how you feel. You know what I think? I think we're stronger than that day. I think the scars we carry are like armor now. Like armor? Hmm, I like that. Guess I just got a little spooked, you know? I understand. But regardless of the reason, you took a risk coming back here. These are dangerous times for everyone. You don't need to worry about me, Adam. I'll be fine. I'll just hunker down in my office until the storm passes. Besides, I hear I have a very comfortable couch. Just take care of yourself. I always do. around this city.
You made it. Hell of a time for a lockdown. More like convenient, given everything that's happened in this investigation so far. What does that mean? They knew I was coming. Marchenko and the gold mask from Dubai. Somebody tipped them off. Are you accusing me? I'm not accusing anyone, yet. But two ambushes in less than a month? I want to know what's really going on. So do I. MacReady dug into Garm. Started out as a geological research center, funded by the European Union, until 2025, when it was purchased by a nameless shell company. You put Chang on it? That kid scares me. Tracked it back to Bell Tower Associates in under an hour. I take it no one purchased it when Bell Tower went bankrupt last year. Wasn't even listed on the asset sheet. So like I said, you stumbled into something big. Care to focus on figuring out what it is? Chicane debriefed me while you were flying back. Leon sent in a strike team. Got there about an hour after you two slipped out. And the mercs were gone. Did a pretty good job of trashing the place before bugging out, and left a few booby traps behind. So we have no idea where they went, or what they're planning next. Not necessarily. I heard Marchenko talking to his men. He said something about finalizing a deal with the Diwali. We need to move on this now. I'll get a search warrant for that old Diwali-owned theater on Tsar Dibi Adlam Street. You really think we have time for a search warrant? No. But with the city under lockdown, I can't guarantee you'll make it over to the red light district alive. I got here, didn't I? Nobody's killed me yet. All right, fine. I won't stop you. Just be careful out there, Jensen. Let me know what you find. Copy that. You do understand we are trying to stop terrorists here. I understand that. But I have agents scattered around this city. Due to the curfew, all remaining personnel are encouraged to stay at head. You know what I heard? You got captured. I knew I guess big Fuck, Jensen. If that shit in Gollum boils over a frog, we're gonna have some anger. Security. I hope it's not too late. Peterson pulled his ID off the train station video. You know as much as I do about these guys. They're augmented, well-trained, and very dangerous. And they seem to be massing weapons and augs for some sort of attack. You just How did they don't get know what cut off? Stand by more guys. Not MIA safe out there. Is... You know, I was starting to think you got rounded up. My God, martial law. I, I heard it's pretty bad out there. Bad enough. Don't go out if you don't have to. Yeah, well, it's getting bad in here too. I've been going a little nuts. I mean, to tell you the truth, I'm not even sure who I can trust anymore. What are you talking about, Chang? You know I've been looking into Janus, right? Well, turns out Janus knows things about this place. About us. Things they could only know if... It... Information that could only come from inside. You think Janus has a mole inside the task force? What makes you say that? What exactly have you found? I... I can't tell you that, Jensen. Not because I don't trust you. You're one of the few people I do trust. I just... I don't know who might be listening. All right. What have you told Miller? Nothing yet. I'm still piecing things together. I told you because... Well, because I had to tell someone. Thanks for the heads up, Chang. That's not right. Be careful, Jen. MIA? The new donation is building up only one possible target. They're gonna miss something.
the army. You have to come quick. He's here. Who's here? Who is this? It's Daria. From the crime scene. Do you remember? I'm at home. They brought me to cross from yours. Please, hurry. I knew you were there. Are you still there? Daria. Radio? They are saying all the problems with the augmented are fabricated. Biocells, painkillers, right over there. My Interpol friend, it's dangerous for you to be out in the street tonight. What are you doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Oh, the killer is still out there. More victims have turned up. All of them odds, all harvested. Just like Angela's gun. So it's the same person doing all this, and we still have no idea who that is. I'm not sure where all this is going, but I've been looking at old case notes, and it's uncanny. Marek Svobodka, the old harvester, is supposed to be dead, yet this killer seems to... Little habits that were never made public. I even called the cemetery just to make sure Svobodka's still dead. And? He's dead. That doesn't explain what you're doing here. It's still my case, isn't it? 
and it's still open. I was hoping that maybe Daria suddenly remembered something. What about you? You know very well that your Interpol ID doesn't mean shit tonight. Hell, I should be arresting you right now. I don't have time for this. Daria's in trouble and I need to get inside. You do whatever you have to. All right. I suppose you should check on your friend. I'll uh, take a look around the building, you know, in case. Just try not to get caught. I won't.